Soreness as a result of exercise can result from muscle damage, normally peaking 24 to 48 hours after activity, sometimes called delayed onset muscle soreness. Strenuous or unaccustomed exercise results in more profound damage that impairs muscle function, strength and exercise performance and leads to more severe muscle soreness. Even after a few contractions, cross bridges between myofibrils begin to pull apart, resulting in focal areas of damage within the muscle. This can lead to tears or Z-band streaming and can initiate an inflammatory response. This inflammatory cascade can cause neutrophil recruitment at the site of damage, muscle cell membrane damage and the leaking of cellular proteins into the circulation. Inflammation can be further amplified as damaged muscle cells release pro-inflammatory mediators. After 24 hours, muscle breakdown is underway and availability of muscle glycogen, carbohydrates stored in the muscle, is reduced. Muscle cells may also be lost through muscle breakdown via a catabolic mechanism known as autophagy. Substances produced outside muscle cells such as serotonin, histamine and potassium accumulate and stimulate nociceptors, inducing sensations of pain that can reduce motor neuron activity, causing muscle cells to contract with decreased force. The ingestion of proteins and their building blocks, amino acids, after exercise is important to support the rebuilding of muscles after this micro damage has occurred. Circulating factors such as insulin can promote amino acid uptake into the cells. Within muscle cells, these enhance protein synthesis by triggering mTOR activation, inducing the ribosome to form new proteins by joining individual amino acids together. Through this process, the repair and rebuilding of muscle tissue is supported.